Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Very great morning, everyone. I'm Muhammad Zaki from Zamzam Muhammadiyah Boarding School, Tiong. If you talk about education, if you want the best way to learn, the best quality of education, and the best way to maximize our knowledge, then we should travel to another country with the best education system. Here, I'm not saying that we must travel to another country because the country we live in lacks a high quality of education system. I mean, it could be correct or incorrect because our country has a high quality of education system. But we must all agree that there are many more countries out there with better education system than Indonesia, including Japan, Australia, China, Germany, and of course, Finland. As a result, international education is critical for us to obtain the highest quality of knowledge. Seeking knowledge is important because we cannot do anything unless we know. We must seek knowledge from the beginning of our lives until the end of our lives. As stated in one of the most popular Arabic rhymes, Seek knowledge from the cradle to the grave. By studying abroad, you'll automatically gain a wealth of experiences that will help you become a better and a more complete person. And that was before I moved to Indonesia. So for 12 years, I lived in Kuwait. And I attended an international school there for kindergarten and elementary school. There were also people of various nationalities, religions, and cultures. And you know what? It was enjoyable to study there. Because of the variety, it sparked my curiosity and made me eager to learn more. There are many advantages to graduating, such as being able to speak English fluently, having relations with people of different nationalities, and learning about their cultures, learning how to respect people who act differently than us, and many, many more. All of this resulted in a priceless experience that I believe will have a significant impact on my future. Next, let us now discuss smart youth. What are the first things that come to mind when we hear the word smart? Is it being the most intelligent student in school who excels in all subjects? No. Being smart is more than just being intelligent or having a high IQ. Even if you received a failing grade in math, you can still be considered smart. Okay now, let me ask you, is Cristiano Ronaldo, for example, good at math? <laughs> of course not, come on, Ronaldo is not a math teacher, he's a footballer, right? Then, how is he doing today? He is successful, insanely wealthy, and lives a peaceful life. What I mean is, a smart person is someone who has a high level of mental capacity, a positive attitude and can use and maximize their strength to achieve their goals. Youth are supposed to be smart. So one day in junior high school, I felt like a damn student because of my poor math grades. Especially when I saw one of my friends getting perfect grades. Wow, this guy is the smartest guy on the planet, I thought. But when it comes to football, okay here, trust me. He is the worst, like he can't even properly kick the ball. From there, I came to believe that being bad at something does not imply a lack of intelligence. It's just that you weren't born to do the things that you can do. Finally, let us now discuss competition. Smart youth today must use their talent to compete in competition in order to gain valuable experience for the future. We do not gain valuable experience from competition solely by winning. Because even if you lose a competition, we'll learn a lot of new things by learning from the mistakes or the factors that contributed to the loss. When they lost, many people reacted negatively. They give up and refuse to try again, which is not the appropriate response. As I previously stated, when we lose a competition, we must learn from it and come back as a better and stronger competitor. Everyone's big dream is to be successful and live peacefully. However, People were sometimes afraid of not making it. That is why we must remain optimistic and it's acceptable to be scared about pursuing our dreams, as the legendary boxer Muhammad Ali once said. If your dreams don't scare you, they aren't big enough. So if it has already scared you, it means you're dreaming a big thing. All that continues to remain is for you to give it your all and not give up until your last breath. To all the youth out there, improve your ability and make your youth beneficial. Thank you. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.